What if your home was the battleground for a conflict that seems to have no end in sight? In the Gaza Strip, the Israeli military's bombardment has intensified, illustrating the harsh reality of a conflict that shows no signs of abating. Despite the International Court of Justice's order for the Tel Aviv regime to prevent acts of genocide against Palestinians, the violence continues unabated. The official Palestinian news agency, Wafa, citing medical sources, reported on the arrival of dead bodies and wounded individuals at Al-Aqsa Martyrs Hospital in central Gaza. This is one of the last functioning medical facilities in the territory, a testament to the severity of the situation. The Israeli airstrikes have targeted several homes in Deir al-Bala city, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. In the city of Khan Yunus, located in southern Gaza, Israeli warplanes have shelled multiple homes. The toll of this assault is grave, with women among the nine civilians killed. The conflict continues to escalate. Earlier two people were killed and others wounded when Israeli fighter jets struck a house in the al Janaina neighborhood, east of Rafah. The city of Khan Yunus bears the brunt of this conflict, with at least 28 civilians killed and several others wounded due to ongoing Israeli shelling. The Palestinian Hamas resistance movement has responded to these attacks. The Qassam Brigades, its military wing, announced that its fighters had targeted an Israeli armored personnel carrier. This retaliation, however, has not stemmed the tide of violence. The Israeli military asserts that its aircraft, tanks, and infantry troops have killed at least 11 Palestinian fighters over the past 24 hours in battles in Khan Yunis. The intensification of this conflict is a stark reminder of the human cost of war. According to Gaza's health ministry, in just 24 hours, at least 183 Palestinians have lost their lives and another 377 sustained injuries as a result of Israeli military offensives. The human cost of this conflict is mounting daily, with no signs of abating. In the midst of the escalating conflict, an unexpected directive from the International Court of Justice. The ICJ, in a landmark ruling, ordered Israel to take preventative measures against acts of genocide targeting Palestinians. This ruling came amidst an intensifying military campaign in the Gaza Strip, raising international concerns over the humanitarian crisis unfolding in the region. The ICJ's ruling carries significant weight in the eyes of international law, but the real question remains. What impact will it have on the ground? The Palestinian Ministry of Foreign Affairs has been clear in its stance, stating that an immediate ceasefire is the only way to implement the ICJ's interim ruling. They've condemned the ongoing conflict as a genocidal war against our people, painting a grim picture of the situation in the Gaza Strip. However, the response from Israeli officials has been less than encouraging. Not a single high-ranking Israeli official has committed to adhering to the ICJ's ruling. In fact, top officials, including Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, have vowed to continue the war effectively undermining the ICJ's directive. This lack of commitment raises critical questions about the enforcement of international law and the responsibility of the global community in the face of such conflict. The ICJ's ruling is not just about Israel. It sends a strong message to world countries about their legal and political obligations to prevent acts of genocide. This includes the possible suspension of weapon transfers to the Israeli regime, a move that could potentially alter the dynamics of the conflict. This ruling has, therefore, implications that reach far beyond the immediate crisis, touching on international relations, human rights, and the enforcement of global law and order. The ICJ's ruling is a plea for humanity in a situation where it's so desperately needed. It serves as a stark reminder that amidst the politics and power dynamics at the heart of this conflict are people whose lives hang in the balance. The world watches waiting to see if this ruling will be the catalyst for the much-needed change in the Gaza Strip. The world watches on, but what action is being taken? This is a question that has become all too pertinent in the face of the ongoing hostilities in Gaza, despite the International Court of Justice's ruling against acts of genocide. South Africa, a nation well acquainted with the struggles for justice and equality, has hailed the ICJ's ruling as a decisive victory. The global community has been stirred by their support as it echoes a call for humanity, justice, and peace. This reaction, however, is not isolated. 
Across the globe, voices are rising, demanding action and accountability. One of the most resonating appeals is for the suspension of weapons transfers to Israel, a move that would directly affect the country's ability to continue its military campaign. This call has not fallen on deaf ears, as legal and political spheres worldwide are beginning to recognize their obligations to prevent the unfolding genocide in Gaza. The ruling has highlighted the need for global intervention, suggesting that the responsibility does not lie with Israel alone. Yet despite the ruling and the growing global outcry, the hostilities continue unabated. The atrocities against the Palestinian people persist, with the Israeli military intensifying its bombardment campaign. The ruling seems to have done little to deter the ongoing conflict, raising questions about the effectiveness of international law and the willingness of states to enforce it. The situation in Gaza has become a litmus test for the global community's commitment to human rights and international law. It is a stark reminder that inaction can be as detrimental as direct involvement. The world's response to this crisis will undoubtedly set a precedent for future conflicts. The global response to the conflict and the ICJ's ruling has been varied, ranging from vocal support to silent inaction. Amidst the noise, one thing remains clear. The world cannot afford to stand by as this humanitarian crisis deepens. It is a call to action for all nations to uphold the tenets of justice, human rights, and peace that form the backbone of our global community. As the situation unfolds, the world watches, waits, and hopefully acts. The world's response, or lack thereof, will undoubtedly have a significant impact on the future of this conflict. The situation in Gaza is a complex and heartbreaking one. As we delve into the key points, we see an intensification of the Israeli military's bombardment in Gaza. The tragic toll on human life continues to rise, with innocent civilians bearing the brunt of the violence. Amidst this turmoil, the International Court of Justice has made an unprecedented ruling, ordering Israel to take steps to prevent acts of genocide against Palestinians. However, the situation on the ground remains grim. With the ruling, having little effect on the ongoing conflict. The global response has been varied, with some nations hailing the ICJ's ruling as a decisive victory, while others continue to supply arms to Israel. The ruling has underscored the legal and political obligations that world countries must take to prevent the unfolding genocide in Gaza. But as the conflict drags on, more and more lives are being lost. The disturbing reality is that the Israeli military campaign has achieved no objectives, despite having killed thousands of people, the majority of them women and children. This tragic situation underscores the urgent need for a resolution. The path to peace is uncertain but the need for it is unquestionable.